Hello friends, let us solve today multiple choice questions based on the topic similarity from class 10th maths part 2. Let us have the first question. This is the diagram given and based on that the question is in triangle ABC and triangle PQR there is one to one correspondence and according to that correspondence AB divided by QR that is equal to BC divided by PR that is equal to CA divided by PQ given we have to choose the correct alternative that is either A or B or C or D so in these four alternatives the correspondence between the vertices of these two triangles is given we have to choose the correct alternative now for this one to decide the correspondence between the vertices of these two triangles we have to use the information given to us that is the ratio of corresponding sides is given from that we can decide the corresponding vertices the first ratio is AB divided by QR so from this one we can have the corresponding vertex of A as Q the corresponding vertex of B is R so these are the two corresponding vertices of A and B from the first ratio and in the second ratio we have BC divided by PR so the only correspondence which is remaining is C which is one to one correspondence with B so here the corresponding vertices of A, B and C are Q, R and P so if we write here triangle A, B, C according to the corresponding vertices the other triangle we get is corresponding vertex of A is Q corresponding vertex of B is R and corresponding vertex of C is R in other words if we write this as triangle P, Q, R corresponding vertices must be corresponding vertex of P is C that should be C corresponding vertex of Q is A and the remaining vertex is B so we have to find which is the correspondence given amongst all these four alternatives so we have here triangle PQR correspondence to triangle CAB in option number 2 that's why option B is our correct alternative that is triangle PQR is similar to triangle CAB let's have the next question again the diagram is given and based on that the question is given over here here angle D is congruent to angle Q as we can see in this diagram they are shown by similar signs in the same way R is congruent to E and from that we have to decide which of the following statements is false that amongst these four alternatives three are correct only one is wrong and we have to choose that wrong alternative now for this one angle D is given to be congruent to angle Q so the corresponding vertex of angle D is Q angle R is congruent to angle E that means corresponding vertex of E is R and the last vertex is F so its corresponding vertex must be the remaining one that is P so here we get the one to one correspondence between the vertices as triangle D E F which is similar to triangle Q R P as the corresponding vertices of D E and F are Q R and P this is the correspondence between these two triangles and they are similar by A A test now according to this correspondence we have to choose the wrong alternative amongst these four the first alternative is E F divided by P R so if we consider here E F its corresponding side is PR that's correct is equal to DF by PQ that is the first and the third vertex DF divided by PQ so this is the correct alternative now let's check the second one In the second alternative we have DE divided by PQ so if you consider side DE and its corresponding side is given to be PQ which is not correct because for DE first and the second vertex we have considered but for the second triangle the first and the third vertex is given that's why it is not the correct 
correspondence of sides so de divided by pq it's not correct it should be de divided by qr so here we get the wrong alternative that is the option b is the false statement still we can check c and d for the c option de divided by qr that is equal to df divided by pq so if we consider de its corresponding side is qr that is equal to df divided by qp or pq so third alternative is correct one and the last alternative ef divided by rp ef that is the second and third vertex is corresponding is rp is equal to de divided by qr if you consider de its corresponding side is qr so fourth alternative is also correct so amongst all these four only second is wrong so that is our answer let's have the next question in the diagram two triangles are given triangle abc and triangle def and based on that the question is given here in triangle abc and triangle def angle b is equal to angle e angle f is congruent to angle c and ab is equal to trice d then which of the statements regarding the two triangles is true the four statements are given the first is the triangles are not congruent and not similar second is the triangles are similar but not congruent the triangles are congruent and similar and none of the statements above is true now we have to choose the correct alternative amongst these four as you can see here angle b is given to be congruent to angle e and angle c is congruent to angle f so as for these two triangles two angles are congruent so by aa test these two triangles are similar that is triangle abc is similar to triangle def by aa test so these two triangles are similar so that is the first thing we get now we have to decide whether these two triangles are congruent or not so as you can see diagrams they are not of same size that's why these two triangles are not congruent but these two triangles are similar by aa test so we have to choose the correct alternative according to this information so we get here the alternative b which is the triangles are similar but not congruent so this is the correct alternative for this question let's have the next question again two triangles are given triangle abc and triangle def and based on that question is given here triangle abc and triangle def are equilateral triangles area of triangle abc is 2 area of triangle def is 1 is to 2 if ab is equal to 4 then what is the length of segment de four alternatives are 2 root 2 4 8 or 4 root 2 to find the answer of this one we have to use this information that these two triangles are equilateral triangles and we know that any two equilateral triangles are similar that's why here triangle abc must be similar to triangle def as both of these are equilateral triangles and we have the property of similar triangles that ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of squares of the corresponding sides so if you consider area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle def which is the ratio of areas of these two triangles it must be equal to ratio of squares of the corresponding sides so if you consider side ab of triangle abc so its square should be there divided by we have to choose the corresponding side of ab the corresponding side of ab must be de so we should have ab square divided by de square now here area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle def which is given to be 1 is to 2 that means it is 1 divided by 2 that is equal to the length of ab is also given that's 4 so 4 square divided by de square as it is in the denominator now here we have to find the length of de so if we take square root on both the sides we get square root of 1 that's 1 divided by square root of root 2 is root 2 is equal to 
here if we have to take the square root of 4 square square and square root will get cancelled we have 4 divided by square root of de square is de now if we cross multiply de into 1 should have de is equal to 4 into root 2 that's 4 root so this is the length of segment de and which is given at option d that's why option d is the correct alternative that is the length of segment de is 4 root 2 let's have the next question so this question is asked which is based on the diagram given the diagram triangle abc is given and here xy is given to be parallel to side bc as here it is given then which of the following statements is true and the four statements are given over here we have to choose the correct alternative now as this is a triangle given and in that triangle xy is given to be parallel to one of its sides that is xy is parallel to bc so it is given that in triangle abc xy is parallel to that bc so here we can apply the basic proportionality theorem and by that theorem we have the two smaller segments that is ax and bx so if you take this ratio that is ax divided by xb we can also call bx as xb that is equal to the other ratio on the other side is ay divided by yc so ay divided by yc and this is by basic proportionality now if we take reciprocal on both the sides we will have xb divided by ax that must be equal to yc divided by ay now as these two are equal ratios if we do the operation of componendo that means we have to add the denominator into the numerator so we have xb which is the numerator plus ax divided by ax as it is so this is the operation called as a componendo which is for operation on equal ratios so the same operation we have to do on the right hand side so we have here yc plus ay divided by ay as it is so in the numerator we have xb plus ax so if we add xb and ax we get the side ab so in the numerator we can write ab divided by ax in the denominator as it is that is equal to yc plus ay so if we add yc and ay we get side ac so that should be ac divided by ay now if we transfer ac to the left hand side it will be ab divided by ac that is equal to if we take ax to the right hand side it will be in the numerator that is ax divided by ay so this is the alternative we get at option a that is ab divided by ac is equal to ax divided by ay so this is our correct alternative now as we can observe by basic proportionality theorem we get this relation ax divided by xb is equal to ay divided by yc but it is not amongst the given alternatives that's why we have made some adjustments to get this alternative which is at option a so option a is the correct alternative for this question so this is how we can solve some multiple choice questions by using some basic concepts from the topic similarity hope you understand this concept Thanks for watching.